Hey, Victory family, Pastor Mike here, just taking some time to connect with you through this video on some tips for engagement during this pandemic. For parents who have children and youth, we believe that as guidelines have changed, as numbers have increased and gotten better, the one thing that hasn't changed is the need for connection and engagement. And a lot of parents are asking themselves, how do I keep my kids engaged, but also keep them safe? In this video, we have some tips on just how to do that, whether you are in person with us here in service or whether you are watching live stream. Tip engagement number one is simply bring them to church. We know since March that there has been a lot of uncertainty, a lot of fear, and a lot of anxiety. But I want to remind you of a vision that Pastor Richard cast at the beginning of this whole pandemic, and he used three S's. The first one is that we are being safe. We as a staff have spent hours praying together for godly wisdom, but we've also spent hours researching every week to make sure that we are staying up to date with the current guidelines that are put forth by our state. So when you come into Victory for service in person with your families, we want you to know that it is a safe environment. The second S is spaced. Our guidelines are to have six feet of spacing for families. And so what we've done is when you walk in, we have chairs that are set up for families and we have chairs that are set up for those who come on an individual basis. We also require masks. Whether you believe they help or not, we require them and we wear them. So we want you to know that we are spaced appropriately. And the last thing is we are sanitized. We have an amazing volunteer team who come in before to clean. They come in between, they wipe surfaces down, doorknobs, bathrooms, equipment, and they stay after to do the exact same thing, wiping everything down yet again so that we are a clean space. And so if those fears and anxieties are staying are weighed on you, we just wanna encourage you that we are safe, we are spaced, and we are sanitized so that you can experience worship and God's word coming together corporately. Tip engagement number two is don't lose the routine. This is extremely crucial, especially for families who are watching live stream. My family and I were affected by this pandemic just in the fact that Tara worked with someone who had COVID-19. And so we had to go through the frustrating process of scheduling a test, taking the test and then waiting for it. It took five days for us to get the results. And within that time of waiting, there was a Sunday service that we had to miss. And we realized that we had to be intentional in making sure that our girls didn't lose the routine, even though it was just one week of missing services. So what does it look like? It means that you get up and have breakfast with your family still. Get your kids dressed and talk about the fact that church is gonna be starting. Make sure to tune in on time when the service starts. Put your Bible on the table. Take notes if that's what you do. Give through the church app. Have your kids help you give through your phone to create that routine. You can stand during the time of worship and, and, and lift your hands and worship in your living room. You can talk during the message and, and engage with your kids on what the pastor is speaking on for that Sunday. These are all seeds that you're gonna be planting into your kids during this time if you're away from the gathering in person. And it's so important for students and children to not lose those routines. The other thing is build new routines, make new habits, make sure that you're doing devotions as a family, make sure that you're having times of, of meals together. We as a family have, have sat down and had more dinners consistently. We've pushed our phones away from the dinner table and not always perfect, but we're building more habits during this time so that when this pandemic is over, then we have set new routines to make sure that we are staying engaged as a family. So we know that if you can incorporate these tips while you're at home, that it's gonna bring back a level of engagement that might not be there, but we have to be intentional about it. Tip engagement number three is simply use technology. You know, a thought came to me as we were praying in our staff meeting this week of families who have not come back in person since this pandemic started. And the thought was, they have not seen church family friends and their kids have not seen their peers or been in children's church in nine months. We trust that you are doing your best to make sure that they are staying in the word, praying over them and, and doing lessons in the Bible. But we also have a team here at Victory that puts lessons out every single week that are relevant to your child's age. 
We also have youth Zoom calls on a weekly basis where kids can come and connect and, and pray and see their friends and talk and see their faces. And we know that this pandemic has changed a lot, but technology has allowed us to stay engaged. And so we wanna encourage you to use the technology that we have. Parents, I even wanna encourage you to monitor their TV time and their gaming. You know, we know some kids uh, will complain and say they don't wanna come on the youth Zoom call. Well, I guarantee you there's times that they complain that they don't wanna to go to school, but are they allowed to skip school? So how much more is the importance of spiritual engagement? So make it a priority in their routine. We only come on from 7.30 to 8.30. And so say you've gotta get your homework done and if you wanna go on your gaming console, then you've got to make youth group a priority. And I promise you the seeds that are being planted during this time is going to, it's gonna do so much for them. And your kids, your children, you know, going over and sitting down and watching the videos and asking questions, that's gonna bring engagement between you and them. It's gonna grow your relationship with them and it's going to sow seeds of God's word in their life. And what a more important time than now to be sowing those seeds. So please take advantage of our technology. Download our church app and engage with the upcoming events that we have going on. Like us on Facebook and our YouTube channel. We're constantly updating it and letting you guys know on any changes and just putting out the sermons and the things that are going on here at Victory Church. Technology is so crucial, especially during this time. So let's use it. Tip engagement number four, and probably one of the most crucial and important, is continuing to pray and read God's word. Jesus said in the gospels that I am the bread of life. Maybe some of you like me have put on a few pounds with, especially during this holiday season. And so I do a good job of making sure that my physical body is full. How much more important to make sure that our spiritual bodies are full by continuing to pray. We here at Victory have continued our intercessory prayer in person. We come at 6 p.m. on the first Saturday of every month. And so maybe if you're a family and you have children, maybe one person can come to pray and the other puts the kids to bed. And then the next month you rotate. It's so important to make sure that you are engaging God in prayer. Make sure that you're praying over your, your kids every night, praying with them, reading and doing devotions. And then you're engaging during the messages on Sundays by taking notes, by opening your Bibles and getting filled with God's word. Going back to the technology um, engagement tip, use the free things that are out there. We have Zoom that is free. We have Facebook Live. We have Skype, all of these things where you can call your children's fan, friends and you can engage with them, where you can do a devotion over a video chat, where your, your children can see the faces of their friends and discuss what God is speaking in the story that you're reading. These are all great ways where you can keep fueling your prayer and your time in God's word. We hope that these tips help you as a family to become more engaged with the church community. We want to see you in person and we continue to encourage you to bring your families to in-person services here at the church. You know, one of the key words, no matter what you decide, is intentional. And what intentional is, it's when you choose to make decisions and take action on what's really important to you. The things that you do in the present now will affect your children in the future. And we want to encourage you that we have a responsibility to steward the lives of our children. And we have to keep them engaged and we have to be intentional at it. We have to be plugging in on a weekly and daily basis to what's happening here at the church and what God is speaking to you in your own home. If you need prayer, we just want to encourage you not to hesitate to call us at the church office or to come to the altars when you're here in person. Don't underestimate the power of prayer. You know, I woke up the other day with a, a terrible neck pain. It was so excruciating, I thought that I had torn something. I literally couldn't move in my bed without just this searing pain. And so I, I sent out a text, or Tara texted the staff and they prayed. What's amazing is it was a day later, it was like night and day. I don't know how I did it, but all I know is that my neck is like 95% better. And I believe that it was the power of prayer. We have to reach out if you're going through something to engage and pray and connect with what God is doing. We encourage you to log on to our website at victorychurchri.com where you can download our free app on there. We have all kinds of events that you can stay engaged with, with groups 
and you can also continue to give. So we wanna encourage you to share this video, to call us if you need help, but to also come and be intentional, whether you're in person here at the church or watching on the live stream, to keep your family engaged and connected. We love you and we cannot wait to see what God has for us in this season of the church. God bless. Thank you.